Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Uh, as you can see, looking back at the VIC-20 again, it's a kind of follow-on video this to the recent video I did on these diagnostics carts uh, from Time Earth Software. You can see I've got the harness um, all connected up here, dongles and things. Um, and I'll just show you on the screen. It's, it's gone through. It's gone through quite a few passes now. Um, now I mentioned on the back end of that last video that there might be a follow-on. Um, strangely enough, um, it's working now. Um, what was happening, Dave Software was reporting that the I think there was a problem with the character on. Um, it would fail, I'll show you, what, just as it starts this next test now. The, the point where it says ROM check, uh, or ROM, that bit there it says ROM check, you can see you've got EF, E0, C0. But as soon as it wrote the text ROM check for the very first line, there goes three there, it would fail um, and it would give a different number each time, like uh, Example B5, C5, 7, 7, it would always vary. Um, now it's extremely hot. Oh, there you go, it's failed now. EF bad, see that? So it looks like, uh, from what Dave was suggesting, it's probably the character on, because I think he was saying that's the first test that's done. Um, now, if I point you at the thing here, um, I guess what I could try doing is freeze this with some freezer spray. You know, it's warmed up a bit. I think that's your character on there. Um, now Dave kindly sent me this, and I think at the time he didn't realise it was a character run problem. And you can see, this is another product that Dave sells. It's um, a combined kernel and basic ROM. Um, and there's some jumpers here that you can use to configure. Um, and obviously the positions uh, are on the label there, you know, so it shows you how to set the jumpers. So you could, you know, use this as a plug-in replacement for um, a kernel or a basic on one of these systems. And he probably does the same thing for VIX and, uh, sorry, for PETs and uh, maybe even the C64, I don't know. Um, it's very cool, you know, it's, is it 28 pen? I can't quite remember now. Might be less than that. Um, but it's the, you know, it's got the right number of pins. The chip that's above is a larger chip there. Um, and, uh, well, it's obvious really, you know, but that's why he's been able to use this for, you know, dual purpose, you know, two, two different options. So, one thing I did think of doing here was to take the chip off. I think it's probably an 8027C512 or something like that. Um, and stick the uh, character ROM on my own chip because I've got the, uh, the right chip I should be able to just plug it in there and then use that as a replacement but I don't know if you can see that's not going to fit uh, you know if I line the pins up there it's going to interfere with the modulator so I can't swap it out unfortunately at the moment um, although I could raise this with two or three sockets you know so this sits above it like that but obviously it won't be able to put the lid back on um, <coughs> so yeah <coughs> for the kernel and basic uh, it's you know, it's an ideal solution. Um, I think I'm going to test it in here anyway. I'd like to try and, uh, if I just point you over here, swap out the, I think that's the kernel, um, and just give it a try. Um, you know, just show it working. Um, so that's one element. Uh, but the other thing I think, like I say, I'm going to do now, if I switch this off and on, it'll probably fail quite quickly now because it's warmed up. Um, I might just inspect the board underneath just to make sure I've not got any dry joints on that chip. Um, but also, I might just try adding a heat sink on it for the moment. Um, but the interesting thing is that was not causing me any problems um, and it kind of makes sense because and again I'll post some links down below if I can I'll need to go and find it on Dave's blog there um, but one of the things Dave pointed out is um, he had a similar problem to this where I was on a character ROM and you, you wouldn't be aware of it you know unless it's a major problem with the character ROM um, if you've just got the odd pixel, the odd byte um, or a bit uh, changing state within the character ROM that's just going to translate into small, tiny little imperfections in certain characters. So for the most part, you wouldn't notice you've got a problem. Um, so it's interesting, like I say, you know, Dave's car here has helped me identify a problem I just wasn't aware of at all. Um, be interested to see if I could get um, you know, a Petsky test pattern up or something to show all the character set, but just to try and understand w w where in the ROM is affected or is, does it vary. Um, you know, it might not be a con cause just based on the fact that the, the the values that come back are different each time. Um, it could be a couple of bits that are just flaky there. It could be, you know, certain addresses. Um, no idea. Um, so there might be another follow-on video at some point in the future if I get hold of um, a replacement character ROM. But I mean, yeah, you can see it's going around again. All right, now no problems at all. But I might just try, let's like say, you know, inspecting the board. Um, and also, you know, cool and heat that chip just to see what difference that makes as well. If there's anything interesting there, I'll report back. But otherwise, I think we'll just test out this new um, kernel and basic ROM um, and just show you it working, really.
So there you go, you can see I've got the kernel replacement in there, jumpers in these two positions down here, the top one obviously is not set, you know, and that corresponds with these two dashes and the gap here. Um, as you can see, that's working okay. So yeah, thanks for that Dave, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, another fantastic product that you have uh, on your website. Um, the With regards to the ROM, the, uh, the character ROM, um, all I've done is resolder it from the underside um, just to make sure there's a good connection there and heat sink it um, and for the most part it seems alright but once it warms up it does actually fail uh, you can see actually because it's been on for 20 minutes here it's just failed for the first time there it must have run about 20 passes without an issue so there is you know there is a problem with that character Rob. Um I guess there's no real point in showing it in a future video all I'm going to be doing is swapping it out you can see it's failed again there straight away if I spray that with freezer spray, it will very likely go for another 20 passes or so. Um, this is probably why I didn't notice any problems with it uh, previously. And as I say, because it's a character ROM issue, it wouldn't cause the system to behave unusually anyway. You know, the system would work. Uh, you just might notice some odd particle, you know, like pixels out of place on text, probably. That's about the, the scope of the problem, really. Um, anyway, I thought you'd find that interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.